be seated. Thank you. Congratulations, Deeksha, for the selection for the interview round. Uh, please introduce yourself. Ma'am, my name is Diksha Singh Rathod. I come from Bhopal, Madhya Pradesh. My family consists of four members. My mother who is a homemaker. My father is an insurance officer in the NIC. And my elder sister is an assistant professor in an engineering college in Bhopal. So I did my schooling from Jawaharlal Nehru School, Bhopal. And then I've completed my BLLB honors in July 2020 from Rajiv Gandhi National University of Law, Punjab. And since then, I'm preparing for judicial services, and so my hobby is gardening. All right. Why do you want to become a judge? Ma'am, this journey started when I was interning with Sri Mati Rajni Bhathamji, who was then judicial magistrate first class in district and sessions court of Bhopal. And while interning under her guidance, I realized the real importance of a judge of subordinate judiciary. And my determination to appear and qualify for this examination became stronger. Ma'am, I realized that it is the first stage where people come to seek for justice. Mm -hmm. And ma'am, thereby a role played by judge at every stage, be it at the stage of investigation, be it at the stage of trial where the person is accused, the person who is accused is produced for the very first time before the court. Hence, a judge becomes a bridge between the person who's denied his rights mm -hmm. and his access to justice. That is why, sir, I want to join this institution. And it would be an honor for me to undertake such, an pious, such a pious duty, ma'am. Okay. Deeksha, total 351 candidates ka selection hua hai is round ke liye. Apni do qualities bataye that we choose you over them. Ma'am, I think ki sab ne bohat hi hard work kiya hai, but I have some qualities which will give me an edge. Ma'am, I listen very patiently and so I'm a very good and objective analyzer of things. So these will give me an edge and also one thing which will give, go in my favor is that I don't procrastinate things. Okay. I believe in the do now attitude. Okay. All right. There's huge pendency of cases. Yes. Can you let me know the reason behind that and what are the tricks to resolve the same? Ma'am, a lot many factors play a role towards the pendency. One is the vacant position in the courts. So if we will take, uh, if we will increase the uh, vacant, fill up the vacancies, and introduce new posts as well. Development of the infrastructure, that is what our Chief Justice of India, Honorable Mr. Justice N. V. Ramana has recently quoted, that Indian judiciary lacks a lot of infrastructure. Ma'am, I think a collective approach will definitely curb this pendency, but the things that I can do is the first thing, I can check whether the summons that are being issued are served within a reasonable time, because sometimes these are the things that lead to delay. Also, sir, pronouncement of judgment within a reasonable time is also expected. I will do my best to do that. And ma'am, I will check on the false cases that are being filed because these things take a lot of uh, valuable time of the court. Okay, Alright, don't you think uh, unnecessary adjudgments also play a role in the pendency of cases? Yes, sir. So sometimes they do, but sometimes it is the need of the hour to adjourn the case because there are very... Uh, reasonable grounds on which the litigants ask for adjournment so all right yes these are sometimes required okay okay uh Deesha, what is your area of interest in law sir i am comfortable with criminal law and okay. in that the code of criminal procedure code of criminal procedure all right can you tell me the purpose of crpc so it is to regulate and to enforce the Indian Penal Code, how to achieve, uh, how the person can get justice, speedy remedies as well, and that justice is available to every person who is even uh, of a lesser economic status. Those people can also get justice and for enforcement of their rights. And uniformity should be there. As you said, it is to regulate Indian Penal Code. Just an in Indian Penal Code? No, sir, various other special statutes as well where the procedure has not been made. All right, all right. Is there, if, if there is any specific law, yes. any specific criminal law, which is uh, broadly a substantive law, but it, pres it, it prescribes certain procedures as well, yes. and they are in uh, contradiction with CRPC, yes, then which provision will prevail? So that provision which is given in that special law will prevail and if there is any absence mm -hmm. then the CRPC can be come to for the rescue. Alright, alright. Uh, Disha, what is the occurrence report? So 
officer, it is the report which is given by virtue of section 157, wherein the officer in charge of the police station gives about the information which he has received to the magistrate and herein various details about the offence uh, who has uh, who has given the information these all things are given and also if they are not investigating that reason is also given in the academic report it is the very first report which is sent to a magistrate all right all right and uh, can you briefly explain the procedure of a complaint case yes sir so uh, sir, can I ask one question in this regard? Please. Sir, when a complaint is first uh, filed before a magistrate or when the trial is proceeded? Uh, when the complaint is filed before the magistrate. Yes, sir. So, first of all, the if it is in writing, then magistrate will have to see whether it is the appropriate authority to entertain it. If it is, then they can act on the complaint and if it is not and it is in writing, the magistrate will direct the person to the appropriate authority and if it is not in writing, then uh, magistrate will direct the person to the court where the complaint can be filed and the second step will be examination of the complainant and any witnesses if present on oath and it will be in writing the substance will be reduced in writing and therein it will be signed by the magistrate and, and all the parties present therein all right. and so then there are some situations in, in which it is given that if it is in writing then there is no need of examination that is, if it is filed by officer, public authority in discharge of its duties or a court has filed it, sir, after this examination, court will have to see whether issue of process is to be, process is to be issued or not. And if uh, herein, the court can see if there are sufficient grounds of proceeding, the court may issue process and if not, then order for preliminary inquiry by itself or ask any police officer to conduct the investigation. Sir, if it is investigation, uh, if it is offence which is tribal by court of sessions, then no investigation will be ordered, and the magistrate will uh, come analyze. The magistrate will look into the complaint and will ask the witnesses any present, and after that will issue process if required under section two hundred and four. All right, all right, okay. Uh, what is plea bargaining? So it is an American concept which is mm -hmm. India has adopted, but so it is not very functional at present times. Okay. So it is a, a right given to an accused if the offence is uh, the offence is punishable for seven years or less, then the accused can give the application to the court where the trial is pending, and if uh, the parties agree to it and uh, in that regards, then mutual satisfactory disposition can be achieved out of the bargaining. Okay, can you throw some light uh, on the constitutional validity of plea bargaining? Uh, sir, so I don't know the exact articles where it will mm -hmm. be done, but it is constitutionally valid uh, according to me. Alright, it is constitutionally valid? Yes, sir. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, so, Diksha, you have completed your college from uh, RG NUL Punjab, yes, right? So, were you staying in hostel there? Yes, sir. All right. Uh, was it sharing or independent occupancy? So, for the first three years, it was sharing, and after hmm. fourth and fifth year, I was given uh, an independent room. Independent room. All right. So, who was your uh, roommate during these three years? So, she was my friend, Sonal mm -hmm. Bhargava. I used to share my room with her. Uh, what is she doing right now? So, she's also preparing for judicial. She's process. also preparing. All right. So. Mm, is she also appearing for any interview or uh, has she cracked any mains examination or no, prelims? So she was no. not able to qualify the MPC She was not able to qualify. Prelims. All right. Now, since you have already qualified the mains examination, if she asks you yes, for some suggestions, what will be the three suggestions that you will give her? So first of all, I think that she knows me very well, so she will accept these suggestions from me. The first is to be dedicated in the studies there should not be any breaks rather major breaks all right to study objectively each and every provision because that is what is required out of us and to revise it regularly on regular basis okay okay uh, would you suggest any means to revise the provisions to revise the provisions any particular method that you have adopted I have done one thing that I used to dedicate two hours daily for revision purposes. Okay. So I just used to read the bare act and try to remember try to remember the sections that are there, just sequence wise the sections because that is the thing where I lack. 
otherwise once i read it and revise it i am very good at remembering things so i will suggest this to her that you should read and revise all right you have mentioned in your form that you have published a research paper uh what was the topic of this paper so it was right to access internet a third world perspective okay right to access the internet all right can the right to internet be a part of right to life so yes sir it is nowadays when internet is uh, so gravely penetrated in each and every field mm-hmm. the honorable supreme court and also the unhrc they have said that right to internet is equivalent to right to life it should be a part of right uh, right to life so it should be a part yes, of right sir. to life under what article it will fall then so first under article 21 under okay. article 191a 191g okay. okay what is the connection of uh, right to access internet in article 19 internet is a medium for expression okay and it is now a medium for trade as well All so right. sir, that is why it is in close connectivity to article 19 and aig okay okay uh, you may be knowing about a provision in the contract act that if uh, necessities are supplied to a minor yes. they can be reimbursed the amount can be reimbursed from his estate right yes. so if a person provides for the internet to a minor will you consider it as a as a necessity Yes, sir. I will consider it as yes. necessity. Yes. All right. What is the reason? Sir, nowadays education is all on internet, mm-hmm. so it is a necessity and it is a medium for him to study, for the minor to study. So it is coming under the category of necessity according to me, sir. All right. Have you experienced online education? Yes, sir. Can you tell me two advantages and two disadvantages of the same? so the i would start with the disadvantages because right. i have studied my whole life in a physical, physical. mode okay. so so disadvantages there is no proper uh, communication between the teacher and the student all right otherwise it is good and sometimes sir the lack of interaction will lead to lack of disinterest in the subject okay. that i have experienced and the advantages are enormous sir the time is so flexible that we can adjust it according to our timing and so for people to interact i have seen 200 300 people interacting at the same time while uh, while studying so it is also a good medium for interaction amongst the student all right you can come you have changed your school in tenth and twelfth standard <coughs> yes ma'am. may i know the reason behind the same yes ma'am actually ma'am till eighth i used to study in one school and mm-hmm. i used to study ninth and tenth in another school mm-hmm. so I, i wanted to explore even more opportunities in different school because i had this habit of knowing new people so my father suggested me that if you want to study pcm so take this school uh, in which the faculty is also good and the people are also about your age they are discussing the same views so mm-hmm. in order to know that i changed the school in 11th and 12th standard uh, tell me three special things about bhopal Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, Bhopal is as very beautiful city and one of the greenest cities mm-hmm. in India. It has a national park which has almost a lot of wild animals. White tiger is also in Bhopal. Also, ma'am, lakes here. There are almost over fifteen lakes in Bhopal. One is very major lake, that is the Upper Lake. It is a main center for tourists here in Bhopal. And ma'am, monuments are also very uh, intrinsically made in Bhopal. For example. Uh, Bharat Bhavan is an art complex which is there in Bhopal, and it has a lot of variety of things. It is a museum. It has an amphitheater, auditorium. It gives people a lot of approach towards one art. And, ma'am, uh, there is a war war memorial, Shaurya Smarak in Bhopal, uh, which is the first war memorial in the country to respect our martyrs. And, ma'am, these are the things which completely separates Bhopal from other cities. Okay, are you born and brought up in Bhopal? Yes, ma'am. अगर आपकी किसी छोटी जगह posting हो जाती है, तो will you be able to survive there? Ma'am, I think जब हम अपना work enjoy करते हैं, तब जगह का ज़्यादा विशेष महत्व नहीं रहता. And ma'am, मेरे लिए काम ज़्यादा important है work से, तो मेरी posting कहीं भी हो, I will enjoy that work there. Okay. Suppose आप आज select हो जाते हो और judge बन जाते हो, और आप जिस court में हो, वहाँ के lawyers बार बार strike पर जा रहे हैं, तो how will you handle this situation? Ma'am, first of all, I will ask uh, the reasons for their strike, mm-hmm. and I will try to analyze it, try to communicate my viewpoints to them, and try to listen to their viewpoints. Mm-hmm. And ma'am, I think definitely, if we will talk and come out to one situation, they will understand the things, uh, what I am trying to say, and they will come back to the courts. 
Okay. What is your opinion about same-sex marriage? Ma'am, as it has already been uh, constitutionalized that same-sex intercourse is allowed. Ma'am, the same-sex marriage issue is still in under consideration. And if the parliament comes out with a well-equipped law, then ma'am, I will support the law. Okay. आप मुझे ऐसा कोई जजमेंट बता सकते हो जिसमें जस्टिस डी वाई चंद्रचूड़ ने अपने फादर के जजमेंट को रिवर्स किया है यस मैम मैम इन द जजमेंट ऑफ जस्टिस के एस पुटा स्वामी वर्सेज यूनियन ऑफ इंडिया एंड ऑल्सो इन जोसेफ शाइन वर्सेज यूनियन ऑफ इंडिया दीज आर द टू सर्कमस्टांसिस ओके इज रेवेन्यू इंस्पेक्टर और रेवेन्यू ऑफिसर मैम कैन आई टेक टू सेकेंड नो मैम Uh, he is not. Uh, which revenue officer can take action under section 250 of land revenue code? Ma'am, Tehsildar. So. All right. Can you tell me the purpose behind this uh, law, MPLRC? Yes. What is the purpose of this law? So, MPLRC was first of all it was enacted to comprise all the five areas like Mahakaushal area, Vindhya Pradesh area, and different laws into one law. and also to abolish the zamindari system that was prevalent and all to give the focus to the bhumi swabis only so these are the two things i can recall all right all right okay and uh, diksha as you said you belong to bhopal right yes. okay so bhopal comes in under which division in md sir so, bhopal is a division in bhopal is a division All right. Can you name the districts under Bhopal division? So I, I believe there are five districts: <coughs> Bhopal, hmm. Raisen, Rajgarh, hmm. Vidisha, and Sihor. All right. All right. Okay. And can you tell me something about your college? Yes, sir. So my college got established in the year two thousand and six, and till two thousand and thirteen, it functioned at a kothi, that is heritage kothi, Mahindra kothi, and after that, it uh, got into a new infrastructure, a new uh, campus. and it's accredited as nac a the grade is given because of the good infrastructure of the college ma'am the okay. college is surrounded by various farm fields as punjab is famous for and it has given me a growth internally as well as professionally after looking at the good environment there ma'am the teachers have promoted a healthy competition between the students and they've given a direction to every student in which they can prosper Uh, ma'am there are were various uh, fields like gymnasium ground fields where people can actually get themselves involved into after study hours and a big library in which a reading room was there so as to let people research and discuss their ideas all right uh, diksha as you have mentioned that your uh, hobby is gardening yes okay so what do you do exactly in gardening so it started by just planting the trees that and plants mm-hmm. that my mother has planted in the house mm-hmm. but recently in the covid times when the gardener went back to his village mm-hmm. so i used to take care of each and every plant by myself so by cutting the trees cutting the plants pruning them and watering them by adding cow dung compost by repotting them once they are necessary so these are the things that i do on daily basis all right and uh, can you tell me any one reason for not selecting you today sir i don't think i have any i don't have any such reasons for you to not select me i am an appropriate candidate all right and can you tell me any one uh, weakness of yours yes sir sir the, this is the area where i have to work and it is that in the past one and a half years i have a uh, because of the covid pandemic the physical activities were very restricted and i had to prepare for the examinations so long sitting hours were there so i indulged in bad eating habits as some can say so i've put on extra weight but sir i'm very sure that in 2 3 months i will achieve and maintain a healthy lifestyle all right diksha okay it was nice talking to you you can leave thank you